Hello and welcome back to my Vampire Survivor series where I try to unlock all of the things. Today, I'm gonna be playing the new guy, Avatar Infernus. Now, I don't really know what this arcana does, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm sure we'll figure it out along the way. And, um, you know what, as for which stage we play, eh... Let's go for the let's go for the Gallo Tower, huh? It's been a while since we played there. And I'm gonna go uh I'm gonna go ahead and keep inverse mode on. Alright. Listed weapon projectiles explode on impact. So basically what you're telling me is that we should go for all of these weapons, right? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, and then six is our starting weapon. <clears throat> okay. So let's get this. Nope. This. Oh, um, I need my fire, bro. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. There we go. Ebony wings. Okay. Well, we're doing damage. Um, so... I mean, we technically have quite a few open slots for weapons because we only need the fire wands, spinach, we need Tarona's box to evolve this thing, and then we need the wings to evolve the Valkyrie tuner. We have three open slots because we don't need anything for the bracelet or the bird or the gun because we're not unioning them. So, I don't know. Duplicator, tome, plus something else. Why not? There's the fire wand. Bro, my uh, my fire doesn't really doesn't really last very long, huh? <laughs> I guess Spellbinder could be good with the bird. Maybe Candelabrador. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Sure, we'll go for uh, we'll go for something. Maybe I just shouldn't have gotten Duplicator, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure that the Duplicator synergizes with our flames of whatever here, so... Ooh, whoa, the guns are fire. Low-key. All the explosions, man. They're crazy. Um, yes, the Shadow Pinion is what we want, right? Because it goes into the Valkyrie Tuner. Okay. Cool. So we've got pretty much all of our weapons. What's the last one we need? The Bracelet. Okay. Well... Um, I feel strong, I'm not gonna lie. We are, like, murdering these enemies. And it's not even particularly close, either. <clears throat> but, to be honest with you, the, uh... The background music is spooky. I think, is this, like, a... This character's specific theme song, or what? Because I don't remember this being the song for the tower. Let me turn my volume down a little bit more. I can't imagine what this would sound like on Forsaken. It was spooked out of my mind. Okay. 
So what am I still looking for? I'm looking for the wings, the tome, and then I need to decide between the candelabra door or the spellbinder. I mean, I think that it makes sense to go for the candelabra door just because area is a better thing. Also, I'm, I'm, I'm realizing that the spellbinder is on the stage. We can just go get the spellbinder. We don't even need to pick it. So let's do that. <laughs> we also have the bracer as a stage item, so that's that's not bad at all. Because the bra the uh, the bracer, while not like super important for our build by any means, um, it does synergize with the flames, and it does slightly synergize with the drills. So. We're taking a lot of damage, though, so I would like to bring that to a minimum. Okay, not working. <laughs> These guys, uh... They're doing beats. I think right now my biggest concern is that the lames of misspell, or whatever the heck our freaking weapon is, it doesn't really last very long. So it kind of just like does a little fire breath, a little piss breath, and then goes away, and then we take a bunch of damage. And okay, we'll go for the wings. Okay, now I'm getting scared because why is the stage turning red? We did have a passive that says something like we start with this arcana, and it gets stronger every level, but it also loses control, so. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. It does scare me. What does it mean for us to lose control? God, I hate these skeletons, man. Like, you kill them and then they just come back. Let's pick this up. I don't know what I'm getting. Ebony wings, sure. Okay, so I still need the bracelet, I still need the tome. That's all that I'm looking for. Oh, whoa. Enemies incoming, enemies are incoming. Okay, don't deal damage to me, please. God, there's so many mobs, bro. I don't think I've played this stage with uh, like the maxed out charming curse before, so I'm definitely not used to having to fight a bajillion enemies on these tiny stairs. It doesn't really help that like it's kind of hard for me to control a lot of my weapons. Like the drills come out behind, so you know if I'm running into enemies, it doesn't really do anything. The birds can't really control, I and mean, then, like, the flame breath, as I was talking about earlier, it only goes for, like, a little bit, so. If you miss your opportunity, then you're screwed. Uh, bro, where's the tome, man? I need the tome. Give the tome. Oh, lord. Red skeletons plus giant skeleton heads. I'm good. I'm just gonna run away. Give me the floor chicken, though. More floor chicken, thank you. Whoa, I am fast, I have to say. I am quite fast. I think our flames of misspell will be a lot better once we get the tome. Because its uptime will be a lot higher. That's just my guess. No idea how accurate that is. Uh, sure, let's go ahead and upgrade the fire wand and maybe we can evolve it here. If we're lucky. Or not lucky. I, think I haven't upgraded the gun at all, actually. I, I probably should. Because I'm pretty sure that the way 
the one arcana works where you get like the counterpart weapons is that if you um, upgrade the one then the counterpart will get upgraded along with it so the more that i upgrade the gun the more that the counterpart gun will get upgraded that's how i believe it works I mean, we are doing a lot of damage to these enemies, and we're getting quite a few levels, but... You know, I'd, I'd like to get the tome at some point in the game. Also, I'd like to stop taking so much freaking damage. Please. Also, I'd like to be able to evolve my, uh, my weapon. The Flames of Misspell, because... My understanding... Is that the evolution of it scales quite well into the later stages of the game. So the earlier that you can get it, the better. Alrighty, well. No tome, no Toronto's box. What can you do? What can you do with a drunken sailor? I mean, it is slightly worrying because, you know, if we do get Tarona's box up, like, maxed out, then we're going to need to be quick on the evolution because we're going to be facing a lot of strong foes, so, you know. Alright, one more level on the box. Go for it. I think we're strong enough. Just barely. Um, okay, well, what are these... Why are the enemies so fast, though? Just a small question. Why are the enemies so fast? Anyone? I'm, I'm spooked. I'm spooked. The enemies are insanely quick right now, dude. What is going on? <laughs> uh, that's all. I mean, really? It would actually have been smart to evolve the guns. Or no, sorry. It would have been smart to evolve the birds. Because technically... And I didn't know this before, I was just kind of being lazy, I'm not going to lie. Technically, the ebony wings actually doesn't proc the uh, fire arcana so there's not any benefit to having the ebony wings it's better not to evolve the guns though because the red gun does proc the arcana so you know it is slightly unoptimized dps because the vandalier is you know quite a significant increase compared to the ebony wings but i don't really care dbh no cat I can't tell if this is an NFT or if this is our weapon. Okay, well, the flame is going quite slow. Oh my god, that was the bracelet. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I, I, I don't think I've missed the bracelet up until now. Maybe I have. I was, I've been going kind of quick. You gotta pay attention. Now we're on banish mode, which is honestly fine, but we miss a chest. We did not. Oh, there is a vacuum down here. Oh God. Okay, the enemies are strong though. Jesus. Okay, let's go ahead and pick up the floor chicken and the vacuum. Ay ay ay. What have I done? Nope. Don't want any of these. 
It's also like, I want to freaking go up the tower, but it's uh, kind of hard considering how many enemies there are. I can't even see the enemies before they get to us, by the way. Like, why are there so many of them? And the good thing is that they don't really do a ton of damage. At least not yet. <clears throat> so, like, if I really wanted to... Ooh. Okay. You know what? Sure. Let's, let's do it. Let's go ahead and get this, because I was literally just talking about it. I'm just gonna run up, tank some mobs. They're not even doing damage to me. You guys are piss weak. Why aren't they doing damage? I'm honestly kind of confused. I feel like we should be taking a lot more damage than we are. Also, I don't know why the game is... Why are the enemies going so fast? I, like. Is this because of our character? Like, the thing that it's like, you'll lose control eventually. Like, is that what's happening here? Or, like, I don't know what's happening. It's so confusing. It just... Oh my god, there's a chest all the way down there. Okay, we're gonna go get it. I don't know what's happening, bro. This run might be a GGBG. Because, like... Seriously, what is going on? <laughs> Are we running through the stage? There's supposed to be barriers here. What? What the F? Is this supposed to happen? Where's the chest at? Why do I feel like I broke the game? <laughs> I'm so confused. What the heck? Candy box? I mean, I might as well take the candy box. Why did we not have the option to upgrade the bandolier? Why am I now stuck? Little bro? I don't think this is supposed to happen. Squad fam? What is going on? Um. Alright, I, I think I broke the game. Well, hmm. Okay. I wasn't expecting that to happen. So, you know what? Let's do. Let's do a boss rash. Let's do a boss rash. Uh, we don't need to hurry mode it. And it's not going to be inverse because I want to win. <laughs> oh my god, it's so slow. Okay. Oh, we have a ton of rerolls actually. That's nice. 
first of all, let's turn these off. All right, boom, red gun, swag. Ebony wings, swag. Go tell him again. All right, we're chilling. This game's over, actually. I don't think there's any way we could lose this. So we are going to go for the bird union again this run. Just because I feel like it. But, uh... Yeah, you know what? I'm not feeling too bad. I'm feeling pretty decent right now. Even though we did, you know, lose 18 minutes for... I mean, I wouldn't say no reason, I suppose. It was partially the game's fault, partially my own fault for running outside of the stage and then getting stuck somewhere. <laughs> I don't really know why it was happening. I it must have had something to do with how many enemies were on screen. It was like bugging out the collision calculations. I have no idea. It was pretty effed up, I won't lie. But, uh, it happens. Live and let live. Nice, got the drills. Alright, cool. I mean, we're going to go for the same build that I had last run, just if anybody's curious. Um, I'm not going to change anything, because I think it was a pretty good build. It just, you know, we didn't really get the chance to showcase it, unfortunately. Oh, shoot. I mean, if we take the bracelet, we can't evolve Vandalier. You know what, I'm okay with that. Whatever. It's kind of aesthetic having the... F just, like, ebony wings. So, it's fine. We don't need a handicap, right? Um, I think I am gonna just go... and a Labrador instead of Spellbinder. Because... Loki, like, we want our weapons to not last as long, that way they blow up more, right? I think Spellbinder may be a little bit of anti-synergy, in all honesty. Wings. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for Tarona's box, I'm looking for the Duplicator, and the Candelabrador. And that's it. Like, straight up. <laughs> Just level everything up and then we're good. Duplicate. Oh, okay, no sound effects played when we pop, pop that rosary. I don't know why that happened. I think my game is bugged, man. Might need to relaunch the game. Although I guess after I'm done recording this, I'm going to close it, so. Hopefully no bugs next time. Alright. kind of wish the uh, items, the arrows to the items were turned off. <laughs> Just seeing them on my screen permanently is kind of like... Giving me FOMO. Imagine. Imagine if I could just pick all of them up. This would be so glorious. Maybe I need to glitch the game out again so I can go out of bounds. Pick up all the items. Oh, okay, I didn't mean to do that. It's okay. Again, I'm still not entirely certain what the buttons do. I'm pretty sure I understand. At least what that one does, it just spawns the boss wave again, but I don't think it actually affects anything other than just spawning bosses. 
I don't know what the hourglass does though. It's like, I would have thought that it just advances the wave. But when I, when I was pressing it in my first boss rash, I had the same waves at the same timers. I'm pretty sure. So, I have no idea. And I, I don't really care, to be honest. So, there's that. Honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of the boss rash. It's kinda just like a run around the box. And yeah, there's no stage items, there's nothing really unique about the stage other than that a bunch of enemies spawn at the same time, but uh, it's a short stage, I can appreciate that. And you know, it does what it sets out to do. It it's a boss rash. It's not doing anything special, it's not trying to. Me personally, not my fave. And that's okay. You know, not every stage needs to be tailored specifically for me. Different people will have different likes. That's what's so great about Vampire Survivors and the American Dream. I don't know if those two are really related, but they'll inspirational. It's like we're in the the bone zone wave or something. Actually, that actually makes me curious. I wonder if the waves are themed after the different stages. I don't know. I mean, there's an arcana. That's cool. Wasn't expecting that. Um, I don't really know what to pick up. N okay. Last time I was in Boss Rush, this wasn't how it worked. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to cheese the stage <laughs> by picking up all the stage items. Um, You know what? Sure. I'll, I'll pick this one. How about that? There we go. Synergizes with our fire wand. That's all I can ask for, really. Ooh, I almost stepped on the boss wave. Alright, spawn those bosses. Oh, good. Didn't mean to pick up the chest, but that's okay. Honestly, I want to wait to so that I can, you know, try and evolve the flames as soon as possible. That's why I was saving that chest. Hopefully we can do it this run. Considering we didn't really get the chance last time, even though we had everything in place, but uh, alas, we were then put out of place into an unknown place. Now let's go ahead and spawn the bosses again. Let's see if they drop any more chests or XP or something for us. I don't know. I'm actually gonna not evolve or uh, level up the drills up to level eight because. I want to save that for the, uh, the flames. I don't want to risk evolving the drills. And, you know, similar logic applies to the bracelet as well. <laughs> Not going to put the bracelet to level 6 quite yet. Okay, well, I are just tempting me with two chests there, I mean. Come on, man. Give me my box. Let's go. Okay. Boom. The Ashes of Muspell. The more enemies are defeated, the stronger it gets. So, I did see 
what that means on the wiki. Vampire Survivor's wiki. Essentially, from what I recall, it's every 5,000 enemies gives you an extra base damage. So, not sure how good it's going to be on this stage, considering the low number of enemies, but, you know. On a stage where you kill like 100,000 enemies or something, could be good. <laughs> but this happens to not be one of them. I actually am surprised at the low number of enemies spawning. Um, I don't know. I just thought there'd be a lot more. Considering that we have 100% charm and I think, I'm pretty sure I have the curse turned on. Curse upgrade. But, yeah, whatever. Not my problem. Okay, well now we're getting quite a few enemies, Jesus. As soon as I say something, the game's trying to prove me wrong. This stage kind of reminds me of, uh, I think it's Green Acres? The one that spawns random waves from different stages. Obviously this one's not random, but like I was saying earlier, I, th I feel like the different waves are based on different stages. Or at the very least, it's definitely based on like different enemy types. Like this is these would be like the knights or whatever. The previous one was like the skeletons. The one for like I guess I don't know. Some kind of mythical creature or something. Whatever. I do go, to be honest. I think the one was like the aquatic enemies with like the the crab and whatever. Oh god, I just realized this is the this is the part of the level that the enemies start to get kind of tanky. <laughs> okay, evolve the bracelets. Alright, we need we definitely need to get the tri bracelet because obviously it's the highest level of the bracelet, but also that's what starts procking our arcana. So if we can get that upgraded ASAP. Also, if our game could stop lagging, that would be nice as well. It's going a little haywire. Probably because of all the fires on the screen. God, man, I can't even imagine what this is going to be like with the freaking golems. I think I might die when the golems come around. I'm not gonna lie, this might have been a, a waste of the video. Because the golems are quite strong. Strong as in tanky. How, how did we beat the boss rush? I'm pretty sure it was with the, uh, the reaper dude, right? So, yeah, this could end up being sussy. No more experience gain. No, that's cringe. No, that's cringe as well. Um, I don't really know. What arcana can I get that's useful? I guess I'll just take this. Yeah, sure. Upgrade the flames. Or the ashes, I guess. The ashes of mist spell. Okay, that went the wrong direction. Okay, that's going the wrong direction as well. There we go. Okay. Am I taking damage? Like, why Why am I getting hit? <laughs> I don't even know what's hitting me. But I'm, like, dying. For real. Okay, that's, there's a four chicken. Okay, that guy's dead. And there we go. Try bracelet. <laughs> okay. Four chicken. I need more floor chicken. Get, the, get this guy out of here. Okay. Floor chicken, nice. Oh, floor chicken, nice. Oh god, it's the freaking reapers. Okay. This stage is... Or this wave, rather, is definitely sus, because... We've got to kill the freaking 
drowner or whatever. Or maybe the drowner despawns actually. That would make sense. But uh, yeah, these guys. These guys are tough. They're all extremely tanky. Now, fortunately, I do have, you know, I do have some upgrades, so I'm not completely helpless against them, but still. I'm glad the drowner is doing literally nothing. A piece of garbage. Okay, yep, yep, yep. It's these guys. It's the golems. Okay, they're dropping. Okay, I bugged out of the the arena again. Let's get back in the arena. <laughs> okay. There's so many golems on the screen. I'm pretty sure it's actually just bugging the game. I think that's what's happening. It's unironically just bugging the game because of how many guys there are. I just need to run around and get the fires on top of me. Okay, wait. There's so much... Oh! I mean, like... This game... This game... Fix your goddamn game, okay? Don't punish me because you're not spawning enemies. Alright, you know what? I'm leaving. I'm out of here. I can't even leave. So now I'm just stuck. I'm gonna die. I can't. <laughs> okay. Okay, the golems are gone. The golems are dead. The drowner is back. Or he's still here, maybe. Okay, the drowner's dead. Okay. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> I'm playing with like two FPS. I'm almost getting cheesed by enemies because they're just all spawning randomly. That's terrible. But we've lived. We've lived for almost 14 minutes. We're only going to have one more wave after this. And that wave will be the uh, Mythical Dragons. Which I haven't played the character yet that you unlock with that. Mostly because the character gets plus curse every level. And that's scary. Oh. Okay, now it's really like 1 FPS. This is legit 1 FPS, dude. What is... Okay. Just just get off the screen. <laughs> Wherever there are enemies, just get away from there. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Okay. I mean... What's going on, man? <laughs> It looks like I'm passing the game, bro. There's no enemies. Well, there are enemies. There's too many enemies. There's no frames. Is it because of how many, like, flame explosions there are? Or, like, what's going on, dude? Alright, here. I just need to run away from the enemies. Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Run away. Get as many frames as possible. As many frames as you can. And get back in the stage. For the last second. Okay. <laughs> My god. That was a journey. And would you look at that? The tri bracelet did by far the most DPS. Literally not even close. I think the ashes is a terrible weapon. <laughs> Apparently the heart of fire is also useless, so. Nice. Alright, well that was fun.
My game crashed? Question mark? I hit done and nothing happened. Um. Okay. Oh, okay. Nice. Well, that'll be it for me for this episode. Hope you all enjoyed. Hope you have a good day, good night, and I hope to see you next time where hopefully we play a character that's a little bit less buggy. I'm out of here. Peace.